the Olympic high jumper Anika McPherson can practically clear a six-foot bar in her sleep. But now she is staring down three feet of water. Like millions of others, the repeat world champion, who placed 10th at the 2016 Rio Olympics and just got back from Worlds in London, has been displaced by Hurricane Harvey. She was staying with her mother in Beaumont, Texas while training with her coach, whom she had followed to Arizona, then Memphis, and just this summer to Houston. I already felt like I was starting over, now I'm really starting over, the 31-year-old told me, sitting on her bed in the Beaumont Lounge, which sounds like and is, a roach motel, McPherson grins. But, you know, it's something that I can be inside and be having a place that I can lay my head. She's without a car now, so she's waiting for her mom to come pick her up and take her to the track, not at an Olympic training center but a Catholic middle school inland that was relatively undamaged. McPherson prepares to compete in the women's high jump event at the 2017 IAAF World Championships in London on August 10. Hurricane Harvey would make landfall in Houston, just two weeks later. The night the water came in, it looked like it would NT. The Randy IDNT seemed too bad. I was looking outside and I thought, it's not that much water, she says. Then at 1 a.m., all the water started coming in. It was at least to my knees. I'm pretty short, but still. McPherson posted a video on her Instagram of her mother's house, with Crayola brown water swamping the living room at couch height. Water is exceptionally ruinous to a structure it's not just a matter of the levels receding and things drying out. The moisture snakes up into the drywall, creating toxic mold destroying wiring warping supports. Floors may seem untroubled only to be rotting from the concrete up. Like 85% of Houston homeowners, her family DIDNT have flood insurance. It's not that they were incautious, they had even taken out windstorm insurance, it's just that floods DIDNT happen here. They DIDNT lose the home, but it's not livable. Everything had to go because the sewers had backed up. We don't have the money to just rip the walls out right now, she says. So it's just like sitting there, it's crazy. We just gotta do the best we can, and we pretty much gotta start over, man. Not being financially secure to be able to do that for myself and for my family, it's really heartbreaking and an eye-opener. Her grandmother and other family members are in the same situation. McPherson started a fundraising campaign to help them. The veteran of six world championship teams, McPherson, has been in the sport for 20 years. I was introduced to it in fourth grade, and I just fell in love with it, she says. I think it's one of those times where something just clicks with your spirit and resonates with you, and I just can't let go of it. I love the feeling, but training with a coach on an Olympic level is exceptionally expensive, particularly for track and field athletes who don't have sponsors. McPherson can only stay at the Beaumont Lounge for another week, after which she's looking for a place close to the track, and a way to pay for it. Although she knows her time in the sport is winding down, she's set her sights on the 2018 Indoor World Championships next March in Birmingham, England. To get there, she has to train to ensure she'll hit the qualifying mark. That won't be as easy as it once was, now that her family is on her mind. But it will push me more than anything, because when I get on that track, I know it's not just for myself, she says. And I know I'm not just doing it because I love it. I know it can help my mom, help my family, even if it's just a little bit. I feel like we're blessed, she says. We're still moving forward.